In Ghana, a battle for Africa's resources is raging. Forests are being destroyed, ecosystems polluted, livelihoods ruined, and one of the world's most precious trees driven towards extinction. This is rosewood and it's one of the most valuable trees on earth. Its distinctive redwood is highly prized, especially in the rising markets of China, for making luxury furniture and musical instruments. The process is all illegal. Illegalities will never benefit the country. It is a cold war in this country. Ghana was once rich in rosewood, but over the past decade, more than 6 million trees have been illegally felled and shipped to China. So how has this vast illegal trade been allowed to take place and what is the impact on Ghana? Over recent decades, the rosewood trade in China has boomed. China, they use rosewood to make high quality luxurious furniture, which they export to make a lot of earnings. And the furniture industry is worth over $50 billion. The Chinese furniture industry used to source its rosewood closer to home in the forest of Southeast Asia. But by 2011, its insatiable demand had seen the forest start to dry up. So it turned to West Africa, where the rosewood forests of Nigeria, Senegal and Ghana were still intact. There was just one problem. The rosewood trade is illegal. The species is globally protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora CITES. Seeing the environmental threat posed by the trade, Ghana also clamped down, issuing no less than five bans on the rosewood trade in the nine years from 2012. Yet, despite the bans, the illegal rosewood trade boomed and Ghana rose to become one of the world's largest rosewood exporters. In 2019, Ghana lost nearly 4,000 hectares of rosewood to illegal logging alone. Nearly all of it was smuggled out of Ghana and into China. The main players in the rosewood business are the people and the state of China. They are demanding for it crazily, like oxygen. So how do traffickers manage to illegally export so much timber from Ghana? The first tactic used by traffickers is the use of so-called salvage permits. These documents allow private companies to log timber that's due to be felled anyway, but the traffickers pay local landowners to give them the permits illegally, while bribes to local officials ensure they turn a blind eye. Next, the traffickers have to transport the timber to timber port. This requires a conveyance certificate from the local forestry commission which again is obtained via a generous bribe. Rosewood logs can also be mixed with other types of timber and declared as a different species in order to export them illegally. Once at the port, the traffickers bribe shipping agents to forge documentation to ensure the product will get out of Ghana and to its destination in China. So what price do the Ghanaian people pay in satisfying China's thirst for fake antique furniture? Our water is being dried up, our forest is being depleted, and the weather condition, if you go to the northern region, my brother, you can't even open your eyes. The weather is too hot because the forest there is being depleted. It's sad. It's very, very sad situation. The negative side the Ghanaian people pay is that we have been blinded and we have thrown away our wealth. We become so vulnerable. Vulnerable because we are unable to predict the weather. We don't make a lot of harvest. As the forests recede, the environment suffers and the local people can no longer produce certain foods. The Chinese who are involved in this trade, they benefit from this. They don't care about what happens to our environment. Neither do they care about our livelihoods. Environmental campaigners are calling for West African countries to implement a ban on the rosewood trade across the whole region. 
They are demanding a thorough official investigation into the corruption within Ghana that has allowed this illegal trade. If that doesn't happen, they are worried about what the future will bring for the forests of Ghana. We have seen cases where the demand from China has led to the depletion of several forests in many other parts of the world. And right now it is eating up our forest. It is time that we rise up as a people to demand justice, to also demand the enforcement of our laws to ensure that these tree species and our forests are protected. This lies in the sovereignty of this country.